Great to have you with us. We have seen a fine match to begin this telecast. Two of the greats, Brian Danielson, one of the charter members of the Blackpool Combat Club, and Andre El Idolo. Funnily, he's never been to Blackpool, so I'm not sure he can really call them that, but be that as it may, certainly impressive foursome. But right now, Brian Danielson all on his own, though, and having a good way with Andrade. Yeah, Andrade that lands on his feet. Boy, for a man his size, Kevin, Andrade can really move in that ring. Great combination. Speed and athleticism. That chuck high up in the throat. Oh, back and forth they go. And in my mind, if this match becomes all about aggression uh -oh. and violence, give the advantage to Andrade. Wow. Dragon went down hard then. Yes, he did. He comes up kicking, though. Brian, right back to that left arm. Again, running that left shoulder into the ring post earlier on. Let's not forget the steel rod he has in his wrist or in his forearm from that break not that long ago. He ducks out of the way. Missed that time. Andrade did Boom. not. Flying elbow over the left side. Absolutely had him set up perfectly and was able to connect. Take a look at Andrade now grabbing at the left arm. Let's take another look if we can. Boom, he landed it with the right, but the left arm is where the damage was. Here from a different angle, and the left arm colliding with the mat. Correct me if I'm wrong, Brian tried to swing that right arm to put Andrade down. I don't think he's 100% confident using that right arm just yet. But to the face, Andrade up with it. Springboard drop kick, and it sends Danielson outside. Holy smokes, what a move that was. And again, the agility of Andrade El Idolo. Oh, risk. Big moonsault. And a big risk on both ends that time. As you can see, both men are hurt. Andrade in the midsection. Take another look if we can. Again, Andrade is blind here. He has no idea right. if his opponent is behind him. A leap of faith, and it certainly paid off. And now Andrade going for the big one. Split leg moves off from the top one, two, and no! Extra momentum there with the SR. Oh, look at, look at the bruising on the left bicep of Andrade El Idolo. Guys, that is not a good sign. But it's fired up. The man from Gomez Palacio. Yeah, still to come, that Memphis street fight tonight. Jeff Jarrett back in Memphis against Eddie Kingston. Miro and Action Andretti. That's all still to come in our telecast. And we are just opening up collision here tonight, live on TNT. Then the action continues with Battle of the Belts 8. How about that? Another hour after collision's over. All title matches on Battle of the Belts as Danielson Short right hands to the rib cage. Trying to just batter his way off. There's another hit by the second one by Danielson. He may be trying it again. You know, the headbutt always amazed me because you you put yourself really at risk as well, Nigel. Yeah, and Brian Danielson has had his issues in the past with his head, taking another risk. Way up top, Danielson. Shotgun drop kick from the top. And Danielson kicks right up. And it looks like Danielson, where that jaw set here, Kevin, is really getting fired up. Look at his face. Has to be demoralizing for Andrade as well. Uh-oh. When the hands go together, the kick is on, and that's trouble for Andrade. Andrade has no recourse. He cannot even cover up here. But he gets to his feet. Look at that. Oh, dragon screw link. That's going to turn things around quickly. Oh! Dragon screw leg whip. First time in this great match we've seen any offense on the legs. Oh. The figure four rolls him up and one and two and no sir. So close. Another dragon screw leg whip. Keeps hold though. Oh, Perfect. Dragon. Baited him. Has the Uma Plata can't complete the LaBelle lock though. Oh man. Added on, Andrade just moved the hips over to where he get to the bottom rope, kid. Brian fed the leg to him, said, please take it, only so he could sit down, sandbag. Set the Uma Plata, but Andrade was able to get to the ropes. Brilliant wrestling what by Brian Danielson. What a sneaky SOB Brian Danielson is. Be that as it may, though, certainly. 
erudite decision as he tries to push forward right now. Andrade on the back foot. Your issues with Brian Danielson are lengthy. What are Nigel? you talking about? I'm calling this straight down the oh, middle. Okay. And Andrade now. Oh, Brian's hooked. Uh oh. Yeah, he's got that left foot oh, hooked boy. under the turnbuckle. Andrade's holy scraps. Three it. of. Whoa! On the right hip. Maybe on the shoulder. Oh! Running knees. Cover. One, two. Oh. No, sir, not yet. The Dragon got a few more fireballs left in him. Andrade really kind of frustrated. He thought for sure that was a three count. Well, you can see how heavily Andrade is breathing what these two men have gone through in this matchup here on Collision. Like I mentioned earlier, for that Memphis Street fight, Dave Brown, legendary Memphis announcer, is with us. He'll be out here for that one. And look at that big scoop slam. Still a lot of power reserve left in Andrade. Dave Brown called Jeff Jarrett's very first matches in professional wrestling. And now he's coming back here tonight to be part of the call on Collision. Well, a long way to go. Oh. Second time. Oh, brilliant. Oh, no, look at that. Danielson had the counter to the counter. Yes, he did, and now... The kicks to the side of the head. And the plotter is in. There it is. The bell lock is on. In the center of the ring. Absolutely, Kevin. Long way to go. Oh. Trying to do a little hand fighting there to try to get free. And now they break the hole. Comes back around. Let's see if he can. Oh, great Yes. Big a four in the center of the ring. Andrade out with that figure four. Danielson, you can see the there paint he comes. on his face. The figure eight. Go oh. on, he got it up, but quickly Danielson got out of it. He tried to get it on, he had it on for a second. It's the family affair, but be that as it may, Brian Danielson, to your point, Tony, suffered damage heavily. That left knee now, the cruciate ligaments of the left knee, certainly tweaked at least. Andrade Alidolo, Nigel, has played a very patient game in this match. Worked to get to the leg, finally got the dragon screws. Just a taste of the figure eight. Yeah, certainly. Brian Danielson had the advantage earlier on, but right now. Ooh, oh, wow. I think, I'm not so sure, did their heads collide that time? Danielson holding the, the side of his head. And that was the back elbow. All right, it could have been. Classic textbook, and here it comes. Oh, wait a second. Nails it with the high kick. Watch Ryan, out. Ryan in white. Looking for the Busaki knee. Hold on. He missed it. Rolled up. Danielson's got him. Two. Oh, no. Andrade got out of it. One, two. Counter. Back and forth they go. Look at this one. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Winner of this match, the American Dragon, Brian Danielson. Is there any reason why every fan here in the FedEx Forum isn't on their feet? Look at them. They're all on their feet, applauding two absolute masters. Pro wrestling at its best, and you have seen it here tonight live on Collision. Brian Danielson gets the win after he was robbed a week ago on this program. A show of respect, both men wanted the best, and they got the best. But ultimately, it will be Brian Danielson, who got lucky tonight with a quick roll-up on Andrade El Idolo. Danielson encouraging the fans to get up. They don't have to encourage much, reaching the hand out to Andrade. Absolutely tremendous, guys. Tremendous. The 15th win for Brian Danielson in singles matches. Now, acknowledging the, acc the accolades of the... Uh, I don't know what this is about. Hold on a second. But uh, it's... Uh, oh, it's... Oh! Malachi Black 
What the hell? A spin kick knocked him right out. What is this about? When the, when the lights went out, we didn't know what to expect. But now here come members of the Blackpool Combat Club. And the lights are out again. Brian Danielson, it, in this darkness here, I'm not so sure they're, I know they got to the ring. They're, well, there you, there you see, again, there's no Malachi Black anywhere. Little too light. Too little, too late for Castagnoli and Yuta. On Wednesday, fans, as they're helping Brian up, 